Today we're looking at the wonderful device, the Wi-Fi radio. It's radio, Jim, but not as we know it. Hi, my name's Peter, and you're watching Long in the Tooth Television. This is an internet radio, it's a Wi-Fi radio. It picks up signals from your house Wi-Fi. Now, if you've already got one of these and you use it, you know how to use it, then this video is not for you. This is for the newcomer. Now, this one here is the Roberts 93i. I can recommend this one, it's a great radio. It's not the latest model, they brought out a 94i since then. Now, I do advise that you get a radio with batteries. You don't want to be plugging the thing in, do you? This particular one has a bit of a clumbersome battery on the back there, but um, it doesn't mean that you can carry it around and that charges up. You log into your Wi-Fi at home, you switch the radio on, you search, and the thing is you can get stations from all around the world. Now, the best way to operate these radios is to log into the portal. that They give you the information when you buy the radio. You log into the portal... You put in the serial number, which you find on the radio, so then your device is logged. You then search for stations on the portal. You make your own list of radio stations. And then, when you turn your radio on, you get a, a dial, really, which consists of your own personal choices. Any radio station that streams will, can be found on here. If not, you can just simply suggest the station and they'll set it up for you. But millions and millions of radio stations can be picked up on a Wi-Fi radio like this. The drawbacks, of course, you can't take it anywhere with you. You can go into the garden. You can't get in the car and drive off with it because it has to be in the range of your Wi-Fi. Now, it's worth mentioning that a lot of the um, big radio conglomerates the big international companies and national companies that probably own your local or regional radio station are not too keen on these things. They're not too keen on them because it just opens the market up too much. The competition is just too great. So you probably won't hear one of these being advertised on your local radio station, for example. I'll put a few links down there for you. You can get a bit more information. You don't need an aerial. That's pretty good. You just walk around with it like this, take it into the garden. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. This has been a yeah. Long in the Tooth television production. Subscribe to Peter's channel for more short bites of information for the radio generation.